This is the book of Micah, chapter 6. Um, Micah 6 and verse 12. For well, the rich men thereof are full of violence, and the inhabitants thereof have spoken lies, and their tongue is deceitful in their mouth. I want to start off by giving all praises, all honor, all glory to call Loyam, by Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rachakudas for the thumb. Double honors to my apostles and to my elders, the men in the gray millstone who teach and do and rule well. Peace and salutations to the Akim. Across the four corners of the earth, pushing his truth with faith and with sincerity, as well as risking their lives and their freedom to do so, now more so than ever. Shalom to the Akwathi, the Akim out there listening and learning. Lord willingly, this is edifying. Shalom to the Israelite foreigners scattered abroad. In the land of the other nations appearing like the other nations, this is grounded to the truth. To you, I say shalom. To you, I say shalom. It's the brother Yahweh Sab out of the GMS Cleveland Church. Fellow servant coming at you with another lesson through the spirit and through the power of Yahweh Shinah Shah. So lock you for any background uh, noise that was made and played to music. It's not my music. I wasn't playing the music. Um, I'm out in public and using public transportation. So, you know, I'm not trying to get a strike. I was listening to the brother Bakormov, uh say the same. Well, that's where I got it from because these devils are so petty. No telling what they'll do. You know what I mean? You know, to try to be or put a hindrance to this truth. Anyhow, um, I was um, basically trying to think of another topic to do a video on. And I was notified through my Newsbreak app of this article that I seen earlier, but I couldn't touch on it because of camp and, you know, plantation and whatnot. So I'm deciding to delve into it right now. And it reads... So lucky. And it reads, this is out of news break. And it says, lawsuit against Skittles claims the candy is unfit for human consumption. And um, Skittles is a brand of Mars incorporated is being sued for its use of titanium dioxide in Skittles. It is dated July 15, 2020, 2020, 2022, Slovakia. And it reads, Mars incorporated is being sued by a consumer who claims that Skittles are are unfit for human consumption. Consumer Janelle Thames filed the lawsuit in Oakland, California on Thursday, claiming in court documents obtained by NBC News that the candy contains heightened levels of titanium dioxide. In a statement to Today, a Mars Incorporated spokesperson said, while we do not comment on pending litigation, our use of titanium dioxide complies with FDA regulations. Bear with me for a second. So, Lockyer, so I went to go look at what titanium dioxide is, and it says titanium dioxide, dioxide, also known as titanium oxide or titanium, is the inorganic compound with the chemical formula TiO squared. When used as a pigment, it's called titanium white, pigment white. It is a whiter, water insoluble solid, although mineral forms can appear black. It asks things to know bad or not. Is titanium dioxide bad for your health? The International Agency for Research on Cancer has classified titanium dioxide as, as possibly carcinogenic to humans based on studies that show more lung tumors in rats associated with breathing in titanium dioxide. So what is it used for? Titanium dioxide has been used for a century in a range of industrial and consumer products, including paints, coatings, adhesives, paper, plastics, and rubbers, printings, inks, coated fabrics, and textiles, as well as ceramics, floor coverings, roofings, materials, cosmetics, toothpaste, soap, water treatment, agents. So the same shit they use that they put in um the, the things that you know in the building that you live in <laughs> your house in the paint. That they use to paint your house, they put in toothpaste. Hmm. You know, and I, that's crazy because I just went to the dentist with my um, I went to the dentist with, with Bonathium, and um, I don't, you know, of course, brothers, we don't really deal with fluoride, you know, 
because uh, you know basically the metals in the fluoride because fluoride is a derivative or it's a um, byproduct of uh, aluminum if you wasn't aware so uh, and that's why they they say it calcifies your pineal gland because it basically that metals all get stuck in your pineal your third eye and you know that's why certain people are awakened to the truth and certain people aren't you know it was a great awakening but you know what was you awakened to you know what i mean then a lot of people just was asleep but nonetheless um because you know i remember at one point in time they was talking about the secret like what was that 2012 they was talking about the secret which that was all witchcraft and sorcery you know talking about the um well i ain't trying to throw nobody off though but um the emerald tablets and all that old bullshit you know what i mean um think and grow rich and you know what i mean how powers of thought you know I mean? but anyway um it's bullshit and it's not but it's it's actually um fake gold you know what i'm saying it's like pyrite although pyrite actually has beneficial uses you know you know you know people consider pyrite fool's gold but when you go into the um, metaphysical or spiritual aspects of pyrite you know it actually has benefits you know i remember the brother um elder brother kazak from mississippi was going into that you know he was talking about how he would keep it and um well i ain't trying to digress nonetheless you know scriptures talk about um eating your food defiled as a spirit because normally music be playing over here by this uh, rapid station and it's not playing so i guess the lord wants this this um video to come out although satan just sent these demons out here with these loud ass cars this is the book of ezekiel chapter 4 point is verse um 13 and the lord yahweh by hashem yahweh said even thus shall the children of israel eat their defiled bread among the gentiles whether 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 i will drive them so lucky whether i shall drive them so lucky whether i will drive them so no matter where we go because of this devil having his hand in the production of this food you know a lot of this food is tainted you know um especially in america you know other places it ain't so bad but a lot of countries won't even you know import some of the shit that america deals with you know what i mean and that's what's gonna make it even more deadly and more um you know um basically um devastating when when the supply of food is gone you know <laughs> So lock it. Back into the article, it reads, um, it reads, the lawsuit claims the company has known of the health problems posed by TIO2. It states that in February 2016, the company committed to phasing out the TIO2 in its product but has yet failed to do so. The lawsuit notes that the toxin was banned in France in 2019 and the company announced it would comply with the country's law. Just last May, the European Food Safety Authority determined that TIO2 could not be considered safe for consumption, prompting the European Commission's announcement that it would adopt a ban on the use of TIO2 as a food additive. In the U.S., the company continues to use TIO2. In the, that's the spirit, because I just said all this. Like, literally, these other um, countries, you know, basically they don't import a lot of the shit that um, Esau, Edom, in the States allow us to consume. You know, uh, we have a lot more GMOs being um, consumed in the States than you do in other countries, you know. The U, in the U.S., the company continues to use TIO2 in a product and has failed to inform consumers of the implications of consuming the toxic per the lawsuit. And that's the point. You know what I mean? That's why he's the violent, bloody man, you know, and and, and, and because it's greed. The scriptures talk about how, uh, you know, he's a carnal man. You know, um, I forgot who made the statement, um, but basically, you know, you know, he'll never be satisfied, basically. So this devil got all the money, but still want more. You know, he got all this land, he got all this money, but yet still he want more. And that's why it talks about uh, if the Lord, Yahweh, Yahweh, doesn't send back our Lord and Savior, Yahweh, all flesh will be consumed. You know what I mean? Roughly paraphrased. You know, because this devil going to just going to keep on consuming, 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 consuming. It's like a, um, a attic. You know what I mean? You know, this, you know. Um, I forgot what was that movie called Virus I think it had um, Jamie Lee Curtis in it But basically it was an alien life form And um, basically It went into how each animal On the planet Because um, basically They had cornered the alien It was kind of like um, It, I mean not it, um, Stephen King's what, what movie is that um, 
damn, what is that? I can't think of the name. The thing. That's what it was. The thing where it affects somebody. And it was an alien, but it affects somebody. And then that, that person to look normal, but they was the alien. But that's how virus was. And long story short, it, it was they when they had cornered it, they was basically interrogating it. And he was saying, out of all things, even they said that on the Matrix. He's like, you know, all animals on the planet live with equilibrium with the other you know species on the planet but not human beings and then uh, even uh, i think mr smith said it exactly like that he said there's another organism on the planet i think he said it to morpheus he says another organism on the planet that interacts like um human beings do and he said they consider it, it's, it's a virus because a virus basically takes over the host you know what i mean and consumes it and that's what this devil this red hebrew edomite devil does you know this devil literally is not going to be stopped until the lord yahweh bashim yahushua stops him you know what i mean this man has all the technology all the money you know then you got these stupid ass niggas like a david banner you know what i shouldn't even make mention of his name because you know what i mean like you got a lot of our people that have sold their souls thinking that they well it's ultimately the will of yahweh bashim yahushua but thinking that they're going to be able to financially do something you know i remember puffy uh, Puffy, you know, weird ass nigga. That nigga, um, I remember he, he he made a statement about Black Wall Street and yada 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 and all, you know, we're not understanding. Okay, if Black Wall Street was taken out, why you think that you know you all you celebrities couldn't even come together? You know, it, it make me think about the time when um, who was that? Suge Knight, um, Jay Prince, um, Irv Gotti. It was like four major um, black record label, um, you know. Um, um, you know, owners basically try to come together to buy or start their own um, distribution company, and they sh they stopped that shit. He saw stopped that shit, just like when um, when Jay Prince was gonna try and get Mike Tyson. You know, it's a story that floats around. Jay Prince was gonna get Mike Tyson, and and basically when 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 when, when he I guess was just f starting to get made, he f first got Mayweather, and he was basically talking to Tyson, trying to get him to come. Because if you didn't know, Jay Prince actually managed Mayweather at one point. You know what I mean? Like he was under under his uh, company, and he was gonna get Tyson. But he said when they had talked the next day, you know Tyson had, I, I think he had came to the city for something. There was something where that they had all met, and basically they were supposed to talk the next day. And you know they he was li li um, staying at this hotel, and then he said the very next day his number was changed. You know what I mean? Like whoever was managing um, Tyson basically made it where Jay Prince can, couldn't couldn't basically you know get him you know and and, and that's going to how it's always going to be you know because at the end of the day you're not set up to win here you're set up to lose you know like literally you you set up to actually understand that you fucked up and to come to repentance before the day of judgment the day of the lord you how about shimmy out shot so lucky for bouncing all around it's just you know it's so much going on and then our people are truly just lost you know and the thing is, you know, I don't feel sad anymore like that because you got to understand somebody got to be the two thirds. You know, the scriptures tell you that, you know, you know, their eyes are blinded. You know, you know, everybody's not going to wake up to this thing. So there's no point of, you know, going crazy about it. Um, I'm saying all that to say this, you know. Um, yeah, the scriptures talk about the fool being defiled, you know. Um, that's why, you know, and with Esau's nature, because he's such a carnal individual, that's why when Tobit, when you read the book of Tobit, you know, when you, it, you know, Tobit kind of reminded me of some of the wisdom that um, Tobit was giving his son, um, Tobias. Um, he was telling him, you know, not to do this and to do this and not to do that and to do that. And basically he was saying how um, he would give him pieces of jewels of um, wisdom. And this is one, and this is the book of Tobit, chapter five, verse 18 and it reads be not greedy to add money to money but let it be as refuse in respect of our child so basically the scriptures are talking about don't be greedy to 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 to, to add gain or or, or 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 to profit you know um it tells you about um you know uh basically how you know um the poor i mean the rich prey on the poor and how the you know how the wickedness of of, of, of the rich and how the, the most high um basically the, despises um the wicked you know you know uh it tells you about where's that in, in, in apocrypha it talks about how uh you know sin stick of um um uh, stick of stick of quickly um with buying and selling so when you're dealing with money you know um 
Th yeah, this is Ecclesiastic or well, the book of Sirach, chapter 27, verse 1, and it, it reads, no, I'm going to get to the point, verse 2. As a nail stick of fast between the joinings of the stones, so the sin stick close between buying and selling. You know what I mean? And that's why these devils, these wicked-ass individuals, these Edomites, because it tells you, you know, um, who the wicked is in the scriptures, literally, they could put, go ahead and sell you some poison without any hesitation or any problem. So I'm going to end on this scripture. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 25, verse... Um, Isaiah 24 and verse 5 it says and it reads the earth is also the earth also is defiled under the inhabitants thereof because they have transgressed the laws changed the ordinances and broken the everlasting covenant so you know at the end of the day these Edomites claiming themselves to be those up under the covenant you know what I mean that's why uh, the scripture talk about who will thou to declare thy, thy laws <laughs> you know um, you know the, the covenant was never meant to be taken, you know, and that's why the Lord gonna judge them so, you know what I mean? And that's why you're gonna eat, you're gonna, you're gonna get twice the cup, you know? Scripture's telling them that, but they've defiled this place. Not just, you know, the actual natural, like, herbs or herbs or whatnot, but like I said, they take natural herbs and, and actually do wickedness to them and have us consuming it, you know what I mean? That, it, it, I, and I don't think, you know, that you would even, you know, you know, like brother was just talking about how like eating cereal, you know what I mean? He said he threw a, a, a piece of cereal to the squirrel. The squirrel wouldn't even eat it. And that says a lot. But just imagine how much stuff we're eating and consuming that we not supposed to be consuming. You know, look at the natural use of things, how this devil has defiled him because he think he going to make them better, but he's actually defiling them. He want to, you know, um, artificially manipulate plants and people you know what i mean this man got to be stopped and and, and jake uh, under a delusion think that he gonna be he gonna have the power like how david banner made that stupid ass statement about um you know sitting up there waiting on jesus when he gave you the power to be able to say yourself well <coughs> see at the end of the day that's what we talk about two-thirds of our people are very like carnal they're heathenistic because you know what i mean like at the end of the day they, I mean, for him to even make a foolish statement like that, like he believing because of the fact that where he at and he's in the industry, and he has a little bit of money and, you know, you know, he thinking these carnal things going to save him. You know what I mean? When actuality, that shit going to be your prison because a man that's thinking like that is going to do whatever he thinks is um, he ought to to keep the things he have on his side. He gonna think carnally instead of spiritually, and that's damn near like an Edomite, you know what I mean? And, and you know, and that's why scriptures talk about um, those that try to hold on to their life is gonna lose, and then those that lose their life for my sake or will um, gain everlasting life. Roughly paraphrased. So you know, at the end of the day, they, they, they you know, a lot of people is about to be set to a rude awakening. I was listening to the one brother, Aaron from um, Men of Valor, and he was saying, you know, through the spirit, he feels something gonna happen this, the, the, you know, the next couple months. He's saying, and I and I can see this winter being like, this that dark winter that we've been waiting on, you know, and call and, and, and Lord, Yom Lai Yom may this be the last one, you know? So we get the fuck up out of here, because like I said, at the end of the day, this place is already defiled, and, and Esau Edom can have his way, you know what I mean? <laughs> it'll, it'll, it'll be like that movie Constantine, you know what I mean? Like the hell version though, you know what I mean? Because this is literally hell. It's just not burning up. But through the spirit, you burning up. Like that's why brothers are so uncomfortable and just and just so distraught and just, you know, so miserable here. This is a wicked ass play. You know. And then like I said, when you it talks about in the scriptures about with much knowledge is much sorrow. Now I can understand why the Lord doesn't let us know everything right now. You probably couldn't even contain. If if me and gain this truth and bug out. Just imagine if you knew everything you consumed. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's why sometimes, you know, I don't even go that deep with certain stuff like that because, you know, you got certain brothers that are more, um, 
what's the word, uh, investigative, and you know what I mean, and then certain brothers hold on to certain things, certain different kind of way, you know what I mean, like, so, you know, you got certain brothers that really, like, try to follow a certain kind of eating habits, you know what I mean, you know, I, got, I know a brother in the camp that literally will, like, eat one meal a day, that's discipline, but then he's so fucked up by the fact that he know all this about the food, that the food is so fucked up, he don't want to eat, so, like I said, I mean, this this is a heavy test the Lord gave us, but at the same time, he gave it to certain men to be able to, to, to you know, be able to accomplish it. Because it's going to be take a special kind of man, too. Because it's going to take a man that truly, wholeheartedly believe in Yahweh, Shem, Yahshua, because the Lord going to put a spirit on that man. You know, it talks about, um, you know, um, I was listening to the brother before him off, and he was saying how, you know, um, Revelation chapter 3 and, and 10, you know, it's a condition because thou has kept the the word of my patience. So you have to keep it in order for the Lord to put that spirit on you. He said, He said, well, I will also keep you in the hour of temptation. We're not going to be able to keep that ourselves. It's going to have to become from a divine power because, like I said, what we seeing right now, like these little lockdowns and what they're playing with the food, that's nothing. You ain't even really began to see nothing yet. You know what I mean? A lot of us grew up in the inner cities and the ghettos and poverty and whatnot. But you ain't saying no just all out motherfuckers getting judged. You know what I mean? And that could be because the Lord, you know, sparing you call law. He's protecting you. He got you covered. But, I mean, wait till this shit really go down when people can't eat. You're going to see a whole new, a whole new, um aspect of, of of these two third niggas and that's a spirit because i was just um watching a brother from um detroit well i ain't see the video but i seen like the um the um what's that called like the screenshot of the video or whatever and it was saying how you know the two thirds and you know uh, and so so you know you got these two thirds doing a lot of wicked ass shit and a lot of judgment going on so um with that all being said um, if you're so-called black, Hispanic, Native American, similar Indian, West Indian, or Haitian, I implore you to come back to the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, or you will be destroyed. And with that, I want to give all praises, all honor, and all glory to call Loyim, La Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai, Bashim, Rachak, Kodash, Barkatham. Double honors to my apostles and to my elders, the men in the great millstone who teach and do rule well. Peace and salutations to the Akim. Across the four corners of the earth, pushing his truth with faith and with sincerity, as well as risking their lives and the freedom to do so, now more so than ever. Shalom to the Akwath and the Akim out there listening and learning. Lord willingly, this was edifying. Shalom to the Israelite foreigners scattered abroad in the land of other nations, appearing like the other nations, and subscribing to this truth. To you, I say Shalom. So next time I'm able to come with another lesson. Shalom, Shalom, and Mawath Labobo. Shalom.